Would you like to get a free trial as your subscription? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So Microsoft Azure has a range of services in the hundreds. But the good news is that while some of them can cost really serious money, you can get a trial subscription for free, so you can try it out, see if you like it, and some of the services are always free. Now you can see that I'm on azure.microsoft.com. And if I click on try Azure for free, this gets me to this page. So you can see that we've got some popular services free for 12 months, over 55 other services always free, and for 30 days, you have 200 US dollars of Azure credit. So here's some of the things that you can do with Azure. You can create cross-platform mobile experiences using things like cognitive services. So that's using artificial intelligence to be able to see, hear, speak, search, understand in your apps. You can drive innovation using things like virtual machines. So you can have a Windows or Linux virtual machine, perhaps loaded with software like SQL Server, though you can also have SQL Server in the cloud as well. And you can also build scalable websites and workloads using Azure Functions, which allow for the processing of data and giving an answer. Azure Logic Apps, which is quite like Power Automate, which is part of the Power Platform and more. So you can see some of the free services that you've got. So for 12 months, you can have 750 hours per month of a Linux or Windows virtual machine. 750 hours in a month is an entire month. So basically it's 12 months of one virtual machine for free. You can have 12 months free of an Azure SQL database with a very good allowance, 250 gigabytes of storage data. You can have five gigabytes of blob storage, so you can upload files, for instance. And those are things which are just available for 12 months, but available for free always is Azure Cosmos DB, so that's a different type of database. Azure App Service, Azure Functions, look at the allowance you get for free, one million requests, and Azure Event Grid. And if you click on this See All Free Services, then you can see all of the services which are free either always or for 12 months. So it's worth getting a free trial if you haven't got one already. So what you do is you click on start free. And I'm going to log in. So I'm going to use a new account. So I'll click on use another account in my case and create like an account. So I'm going to put in an email address and a password and some more information about me and then click next. It's asking me to verify my account. I don't want to tips, information and offers about Microsoft products and services, you might. And here I've got to type all of this. And then finally, once you've set up your account, you've verified it's you, so it's wanting a bit of information for me. So then, there's the verification. So I'm just going to do that and I'll unpause the video after that's done. So in my case, it's asking me to verify myself by card as well, but notice you won't be charged unless you upgrade. So that's an active thing. You won't accidentally get charged if you go past the credit limit that you've got. So I'm going to type in this information and then click next. And then you've got the subscription agreement, offer details and privacy statement. Useful to read. Would you like information tips on Azure from Microsoft? Would you like Microsoft to share my details? No, not particularly. So I'm going to click sign up and you can see it's taking a bit of a while. And this is one of the things with Azure. It's not the quickest immediate thing that you might be used to. So if you're expecting things to take seconds in setting up things, well, it's more likely to take minutes, especially for some of the more complicated things. So finally, I'm set up, so I will now go to the portal. So the portal address, portal.azure.com, and here we go. Now, there are various start guides. So we've got setup guides here and we've got various projects. 
I'm not going to do those. If you wish to do them, some of these are quite interesting. Instead, I'm going to click on the home at the top left. And this takes me to the home screen and it is useful if you know what's going on. Now, you can also expand this menu as well. And we can quickly get to things like SQL databases, Cosmos DB databases, and other things. Let's just take a quick look around Microsoft Azure. So here we have quick ways of getting to particular services, but what I'll usually be doing is typing the name of the service, say storage, here in the top bar, and that gives me a list and I'll select what I'm going to get. Going further along, here we've got the command line interface called Cloud Shell. We'll be using that later, but only briefly. It's not used much in this exam, but you'll be required to know about it. Further along, we've got your directory and subscription, so just information on who you are, what you are. So here I'm on the free trial, for instance. Then we've got notifications. So this is telling me what Azure is doing. So if you're setting something up, you'll probably see that there's a number under it and a line going across. That's telling me that things are happening. We've got various settings. And out of these, I think the biggest could be what theme you want. Do you want a dark theme? Or do you want a high contrast theme, for instance? But the main thing perhaps could be, what is your default view? What page do you want to go into when you go to portal.azure.com? Do you want to go to this, which is your home page, or do you want to go to a dashboard? A dashboard is your own customized screen, which has got things from different services that you pin into it. So you create it. I'm going to stick in this course to the home screen. Also, what is your default mode for the portal menu? Do you want it to be docked or do you want it to fly out? So I'm just going to have it fly out because as I say, I'll mostly be using the top in this course. The question mark. So this gives you various help and support, included guided tours. How we're doing, send us feedback. And then right at the end, we've got your sign out button. So this is a quick look around Azure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to how to get a free Azure account. Now, if you want to know how to set up an Azure SQL database, then wait for the end of this video because on the end screen, there will be a link to another video all about creating an Azure SQL database. And that one follows quite neatly from this video. If I can help you further, then please have a look at my Azure courses. So first of all, there is the AZ900. So this is an introduction to Microsoft Azure generally. So in this course, we concentrate on the principles behind Azure. So cost management, for instance, cloud concepts, identity and governance features. And we'll have a look at over 20 different services in the compute, networking, and storage. This course covers all of the requirements for Microsoft's official AZ900 exam. If you want to have a look more at data, then please have a look at my DP900 course. Again, this is all about Azure, but here I focus on data and databases. So we've got relational databases, such as Azure SQL database, non-relational data, such as Cosmos DB, which we saw you can get free forever for a certain amount, and other elements such as a data warehouse. If you want to go deeper into Azure, then please have a look at my DP300. So this is when I go really deep into Azure SQL database, Azure SQL managed instance, and virtual machines using SQL server. So you'll find out all about how to administrate these. And again, this covers all of the requirements for the official DP300 exam. If you would like to see more about the various courses that I've got, then please go to my website, idodata.com. So coming up next, if you click on the link, you can find out how to create an Azure SQL database. And that video is taken from my DP900 course. Well, thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you liked it, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified about any new videos. 
I'm Philip Burton from idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.